So as I was crawling up and under the car to do the drain on the whole set, I, I kept passing by this oil cooler that was sandwiched between the intercooler and the radiator. That's the oil cooler. And it's sandwiched very closely between the two. You see it there? So the plan here is to take that oil cooler and put it in this open gap where the light is sitting. Okay, so now that you have this oil cooler off of the car, you want to find a way uh, to clean it. What we'll do now is use lacquer thinners, and what I'll do is I'll fill this up and let it sit for 12 hours. So what we have now is a, uh, a bottle of uh, concentrated uh, Simple Green. If you look real close right, you see that? It's actually pulling that oil out of there. So this is the second round of uh, filling this up with Simple Green. Once we empty this out, we're going to take it outside and use the water hose because it's got pressure behind it. We'll rinse it out until the water comes out clean. And as soon as the water comes out clean, we we'll use the air nozzle to blow it out. Now we'll pour this WD-40 in here. It'll draw out the rest of the water. And then we can uh, pour this WD-40 out and then we'll blow it out with air. You would, if you were going to let this sit, um, you would fill this up with oil and keep it nice and clean. Alright, so as you can see here, um, any anytime we try to mount the oil cooler here, it, this, this little piece is going to get in the way. What you see here is, is it's just a nut welded in the back side and if you take a pair of vice grips and you and you latch on to the nut there or the bolt I didn't know it was a bolt and then you can actually unloosen it so we can actually take that off and you can remove that bracket without tearing any of this metal out I finally came up with two solutions um, I came up with one where it would mount here and the fitting would be facing down and the issue with this is with the fitting screwed in um, the fitting adds two and a half inches which would put it below the frame of the car so I didn't want to do it this way I could mount it like this using this bolt and this bracket well with this bolt and this bracket with, with this straight it would hit the side of the bumper with the fitting but since this was just a thin piece of metal I bent it back the ducting for the bumper will come in and let air get all over that so that will still be in great airflow. Uh, when the fitting comes out it has about an inch between the bumper and the fitting and the hose can run right around where the stock hose ran and connect to the uh, oil filter housings. This is how to be mounted now and then there's no more movement it wiggles just a tiny bit but what I'm gonna do is just uh, cut this out with a Dremel tool using a small cutoff wheel and just cut off a square clean up the edges and repaint it
little bit of lacquer thinner should take this paint right off. Well, this is what happens when you over tighten a T-bolt clamp on your intercooler pipe. Luckily, Napa uh, it has these on hand. It's the, the top number. 705-1532 is the exact same size as our old clamp. Six, six foot of a uh, hose here. We got four of these eight by one by 16 by one and a half. That's the adapter that you'll need for the oil filter housing and the oil filter if you're using the stock pieces. We have two straight fittings that we'll be using off of the oil filter housing. And then we have two 90 degree fittings that we'll be using off the oil cooler itself. And we got some uh, aluminum number 16 crush washers to use. You can use copper ones as well. When feeding it from the side, you want to feed from the front port. The front port is the feed. So you want to run this to your bottom and you want to run the top port back to the what I would consider the rear or the return port which is this one here. Now you want to do that to eliminate air bubbles and to make sure that air bubbles do not get trapped inside your oil cooler rendering it less effective. pull the fuel pump fuse and I'm going to turn the car over until I get oil pressure. Well, I can take this off now. Now the light that we want to go out is this light here. That's the dummy light for the oil. So we're just going to crank it until that light goes out. So I've waited probably a minute or so. Let's start to cool down a bit. Let's try this again. We should be good to go. Now. 
as you can see we got good oil pressure better oil pressure there That's right at 20 at idle. Pull, pulling good oil up the temp. So I say we're ready to go. 